Naimatullah Zafari. I carry the Afghan flag because I just wanted to give a message to Afghan girls. Your feeling were there with me, and uh, the struggle that you are going through, no matter what, you be uh, the one I want there. You will make it. We uh, left Afghanistan when the collapse happened uh, in uh, 2021. I left my country along with my family on the 23rd of August uh, from Afghanistan, coming from a very difficult situation, uh, crossing 20 to 25,000 people with kids with me, who at that time my son only 18 months old. So having uh, female children with you and older age, my parents with me, those are way too difficult. A, it was crossing um, a few checkpoints from Taliban. Crossing that uh, area of 25 or 20,000 people by itself was a very challenging situation. So we just only had two pairs of uh, clothes with us and, and we made it. And we came to UK in London. I hear the news and in the media I had witnessed that news was the blast. The blast right uh, where uh, the place uh, we, we crossed. Had I made a, a small uh, you know, delay or small mistake. My family might have been uh, on that class. I was applying for student scholarship from 2015 or 2016. I was applying every year, keeping in mind it will happen one day. So finally it happened in 2021 and I received the Shaving Scholarship Award. But it happened in a time when we lost a, a, a country, when we lost a system, when we lost a government. A lot of the things and, uh, which we were hoping for, and thankfully, uh, I made it to University of Sussex. I carried a Afghan flag because I just wanted to give a message to Afghan girls. But I have also uh, presented you of, on, on a stage of uh, top-notch university of the UK, you were there with me, your feeling were there with me, and uh, the struggle that you are going through, no matter what, you will be uh, the one I want there, you will make it. Soon they will have the stage in Afghanistan, they will uh, proudly walk through, present their country, they present their flag, and then they will serve the, the bigger community. When we made it to London, the people, they were coming and they were giving us, you know, uh, a sympathetic messages and giving us a hope that things will be fine. So thank you to Great British people. Uh, thank you to the UK government. And uh, also thanks to those uh, who, who really said um, yes to our calls for our rights for education.